No, no, thank you very much uh, for, the, for the invitation, first of all. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you can see my screen well. Yeah, we can see it fine and we can hear you well as well. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Then I shall go ahead uh, again. Thank you very much uh, to the organization committee for allowing me to speak in this wonderful uh, workshop. Uh, as uh, has been already mentioned, my title for today's presentation will be Conformal Symmetries in Rotating Black Holes. This is a project that I've been developing as part of the USU Gravitational Theory Group at Utah State. Uh, currently, this work is being done in collaboration with Alex Jensen and Dr. Rodriguez from USU, and also with Victoria Martin as well from the University of Iceland. Besides, I wanted to give an special mention to my sponsors at USU through the PDRF and Howard Elblad Fellowship uh, awarded by the school. So no further ado, I will go ahead. So the outline for our uh, current presentation will be the following. Uh, in order to introduce this idea about conformal symmetries associated to these rotating black holes, I will first talk about uh, briefly about the idea or proposal about Kerr CFT correspondence. Afterwards, I will start introducing the idea of hidden symmetries in black holes, in particular in this rotating black hole solution that I have mentioned in the title. Then in the third part, just do a brief explanation of what we have been tackling so far uh, with this uh, project, in particular, the study of five dimensional black holes and black rings in order to obtain these conformal symmetries and then give some preliminary conclusions that we have obtained uh, until the current results we have just yes, uh, calculated. So uh, starting first with the Kerr CFT correspondence, uh, well, in general, many of us at least uh, have heard in the news or maybe read some uh, papers about the so-called ADS CFT correspondence where we have the uh, idea of uh, relating to some sort of different type of physical uh, models or systems like uh, in one side, a gravitational theory that lives in D plus one dimensions, uh, which at its low energy regime, it's dual to a so-called conformal field theory in D dimensions. Having said that, the Kerr CFT correspondence tries to in some sort generalize this idea by doing the following. Originally in the work uh, presented by weekend collaborators around 2008, uh, there was done some computations in the extremal uh, limit of the Kerr black hole solution in four dimensions in order to, uh, to see if it was possible to obtain some sort of conformal dual of the system, in particular, around the, uh, taking the limit around its event horizon, taking the so-called the so near horizon uh, regime. Having done that particular approach, it was obtained uh, in that original uh, work that the metric of the curved black hole after certain manipulations will lead to the obtention, again, uh, making clear at this first point that it was in the extremal limit, Five it was possible to obtain that there was associated to it a whole system of killing vectors that are enlisted in the screen, in the uh, slide that I'm presenting now, J1, J2, and J0, which uh, all together form uh, the Virasoro algebra associated to a conformal field theory in two dimensions. So from this uh, starting point, it was a conjecture that it was possible to see that near in the near horizon regime, we could obtain a conformal dual, not only of, of what it was already known of, of uh, gravitational solutions of but gravitational model solutions of general relativity uh, in anti space spacetime, but also in, in this particular case of a curved black hole. So this was a first approach to the problem. However, uh, Later, uh, in here, for instance, we see that it was also possible to determine the so-called central charge of the conformal dual, as well as the left and right mover temperatures of this uh, field theory as well. Later ahead, uh, 
it was uh, studied the possibility that beyond this analysis in the extremal regime, maybe it was possible to recover a conformal dual, not anymore in the extremal case, but also in the non-extremal case. There has been a lot of development in the literature about this idea in the upcoming years after that original work by Wicca. And what was obtained uh, so far was the following. For instance, in the girl black hole, taking a different approach, it is possible to do the following. It has been, it has been found that either by analyzing dynamically the system by computing the Klein-Gordon equation or doing the analysis through conformal transformations of the metric, it is possible to recover a conformal dual of the system. I will not go uh, very much into the details of how this computation is done, but again, doing a near horizon uh, expansion of either uh, the metric in this case, or the uh, near horizon uh, analysis of the Klein-Gordon equation, it is possible to identify the, the temperature of the conformal dual of this gravitational system. So far, so good. Again, for instance, in here, in the case of the metric, the conformal transformations reveal this hidden conformal symmetry in a different way. In the previous slide, uh, just to be super quick, uh, I showed that through the Klein-Gordon equation, the temperatures were could be recovered. In the case of the metric, this is uh, done by uh, factorizing an ADS3-like warp factor in the curve black hole metric. And this idea can be generalized uh, to higher dimensions. So that is the approach that we are taking in our current work. Essentially, we are focusing ourselves in the study of five-dimensional uh, general relativity solutions. Uh, one uh, first step that uh, has been done already is the study, for instance, of Myers-Perry black holes, where both by doing the Klein-Gordon equation analysis that I have mentioned for her, or doing also the metric analysis that we have done in that particular case. In the case of Myers-Perry, it is also possible to identify a conformal dual of the system, uh, in particular in the regime where we just have one of the spinning degrees of freedom activated. The other one is turned off in order to one be able minute. to recover this conformal dual. So uh, again, going uh, beyond the mathematical details that uh, lead to these wonderful, res wonderful results so far, the question essentially is the following that we are trying to tackle now. Is it is possible to recover this type of conformal duals by uh, when we have metrics that lead to Klein-Gordon equations that are, that are non-separable or a general relativity solutions in which we have a, not only the curvature terms, but also a source term. What we have found, for instance, in the case of the so-called dipole black ring uh, metric in this case is that indeed it is possible. So by doing the, so far, the Klein-Gordon equation analysis of the dipole black ring case, we have been able to recover as well a conformal dual of it. So this leads us to the conclusion that in particular, we have the possibility that uh, to, con to see that uh, indeed axisymmetric solutions of general relativity in four and five dimensions will lead to the of deduction or obtention of hidden conformal symmetries of the systems, in particular in this near horizon regime. The idea is to go far ahead with this and see how uh, is possible, how far is possible to generalize these ideas. So that was all that I had to say for, for the moment. Thank you very much for your time.